my bunnies is Tiki's Trinkets here, and again, it is still the month of October, so we have more Halloween headbands. I got this from Target this year, and they were just in the dollar section. They're just little springy headbands. They had several different designs, so go check that out at Target. Not sponsored, just like them. Also got my nails painted, very Halloween-y, and got a new Halloween shirt from Target. And, okay, let's go ahead and get into this. I'm just blabbing on and on. Today, or this week's tutorial was a request by this person right here. And they wanted me to make stitches from Animal Crossing. Also, thank you to that person. They've been subscribed to my channel for over a year, so thank you very much. And thank you to all the new people I have, too, because I'm at 241 right now. So, woohoo, we always, we're always here together. Y'all are my bunnies. And thank you for your support here and on Instagram. I'm blabbing on, but thank you. <laughs> I'm very appreciative. And I'm making stitches from Animal Crossing, and I think this just came out so darn cute. And to emphasize on the stitching, I did the boar painted kind of like stitches. Get it? Ha, huh, ha, huh. you'll see that in the um, video. The supplies of the paint I use are from Walmart, very cheap, and you get a whole bunch of them. So, yeah, not sponsored again, but hey, it's really good. Also, I don't know what next week's video is going to be. It might be a My Singing Monster tutorial that somebody requested. That is the last one that I'm going to do. So if they comment back, I'm very sorry. I'm not being rude. I am just tired of doing My Singing Monster characters. Even if I have to be a little rude, I'm, I'm trying to be a good person. But sometimes we all get tired of things. And there's nothing wrong with that. C'est la vie. That's life. Anywho... Also, I am working, I'm still currently working on the collaboration with Miku Marmalade. I didn't say who it was in the last video, but it is Miku. We've done a collab before in the past. Go check that out if you haven't already. I have a playlist called Collaborations on my YouTube channel, so check that out. And we are working on a Halloween type collaboration, which I don't know when it's going to be uploaded. But you'll see, and I'll let you know ahead of time. Alright, that is enough jibber jabber, so I think we should go ahead and go on into this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in next week's video. Happy Halloween and bye bye my bunnies. For this tutorial from top left all the way down, I used Fremo Purple Pearl, Turquoise Sculpey 3, Red from Sculpey 3, Just Orange from Sculpey 3, White, Emerald Green from Souffle, and Granny Smith Green from Sculpey 3. We're gonna start off with the white color which we're going to use to make his um, like upper torso where his t-shirt is. I should say more like crop top. And you're just going to roll out a teardrop shape and then you're going to cut that bad boy in half like so. And we just need the middle part, the triangle shape right there. And then we're going to get the just orange color, which after a while, if you've had clay for a while, it kind of does that where it like fades on the packaging. It's weird. That's why I repackage them in my own plastic, which is recycled. Then I rolled out two orange balls, and one was for the body, so I rolled it into a teardrop shape, cut it in half similar to the white, and stuck the bottom piece on the bottom, made sure it was the same size. Then for stability, always put some kind of wire toothpick something in it to be a little extra safe. Then for the head, I didn't do my usual thing I usually do, I just rolled it into an egg shape and stuck it on as is. It didn't need any indentions for the eyes, it's just good as it is. Next, I'm using these two white balls to make his mouth piece, and then his little stomach hanging out of his crop top piece, which you can see this right here. Another little teardrop shape, smushed down flat, cut it in half, and then go ahead and stick that on the belly. Now we got a little tummy. <laughs> Next, we're going to go on to the Granny Smith color, which I will go back to this, I think, a little bit later to add in a little more ear. Um... But for the first thing I'm making is a leg, specifically his right leg. And I am going to roll it into a teardrop shape, cut it off at an angle, and we're going to keep that flattened piece right there on the left. And where it's angled at, just go ahead and attach it to the bottom part of the torso. Next, we're going to go on to the souffle emerald colored, as such. <laughs> and we're going to do something similar, but this time we're going to be making the arm. And we're also going to need it for a part of the ear or for the ear. But we're going to roll out these two balls right here. The larger one's going to be for the arm, which is similar to the leg, but make it smaller at the end instead of bigger like the foot was. 
then go ahead and just stick it on the body how you want. I also kind of flared the arm out just a little to give her a little more sass, to give stitches a little more sass sass. Then for the other one, I just indented it with a dotting tool to make the ear, and then just cut off the bottom so it would sit flat on the head. And then go ahead and stick it on the head. I wouldn't recommend gluing it right now because I had to move the ears off to roll out the purple part later, so just gently stick it on for now. And then next we're going to move on to the turquoise Sculpey 3 blue color. I can't talk. And we're going to pre-roll the balls that we need, similar to what we've been doing before. And we're going to start with the larger one, and we're going to use that, ignore my phone, to make the next arm. And again, same process pretty much. And then I just angled that one upward to make it look like stitches are kind of reaching up at their face, like they do in the game, and like you see on the character card. Anywho, next I did the same thing that I did with the green to make the ear and then go ahead and again just gently attach it to the head. Don't glue it yet. Next we're coming back to that Granny Smith green like I mentioned earlier and just roll out the smallest ball possible to put inside of the blue ear. Ta-da! And press it down flat with your finger. Next we're going to go on to the purple pearl primo color right here. And I'm going to roll just a little bit of this into a ball, which is about a half inch in size. And this is going to be for the head, so this will probably be the most complicated part. And just do exactly as I do, roll it into a teardrop shape. Sorry that the photo is a little bit blurry here. And then you're going to roll that down as flat as you can possibly get it, just like so. And then you're going to cut off the sides and cut off the top, just like I've done in this photo right here. And then once you got the shape as big as you need or as small as you need, go ahead and gently lay it starting from the mouthpiece and then kind of smoothing it back using a rolling tool to roll it smoothly onto the head all the way till it wraps back around. Next we're going to move on to the um, Sculpey 3 red color. And we're going to do the same thing we've been doing. We're going to roll the balls that we need. One big one, one little one. The little one just stick it into the green ear and flatten it down with your finger like so. And then the red one, as you've known that we've been doing the whole time, you're going to make it into a leg using the same exact process that we did before. So that should be fairly easy. And just stick it onto the body, like I said, very easy. <laughs> Next we're going back to the purple that I forgot to make a tail for the baby earlier. <laughs> I don't know how I forgot the tail. I don't know where my head was at. Either way, there we go. Just make a ball, smush it down flat, stick it on it. Use some glue if you need to. I needed glue. Then I use rubbing alcohol and cotton swabs to clean off all the dirt off the white and orange clay because trust me, it held, it holds so much dirt. Then I baked it for 350 degrees in a gas oven for 12 minutes or nine minutes, nine minutes, ugh, in an electric oven. Then I got out a rainbow assortment of colors and painted the base yellow and then I'm going to do the cute little stitches you saw in the beginning all around the board. If you had a star shaped board, which I know they make star placards, that would be way more cuter for this. I mean, hello, stars on the shirt. It would just totally match. Anywho, <laughs> after that I went on ahead and left it open once the um, thing came out the oven it was completely cooled off. And then I very carefully painted on stars. I showed a dotting tool but I actually used a paintbrush for that part. Then I took some brown, kind of like a chocolatey brown color and painted on the X's for the eyes, a circle for the nose, and then two little swoops for the mouth. Then after that's dried completely I used E6000 to glue it to the board. And then again once that's dried completely then use polycrylic varnish to glaze this bad boy on up. You can use glossy or matte. Use whatever you like. I like glossy. And then you're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you all in next week's video. Bye bye my bunnies.